take a toilet paper roll and cover it in peanut butter. If you have a peanut butter allergy, you can use sun butter or almond butter. Make sure the peanut butter is covering the whole outer portion of the roll. Roll the toilet paper roll in birdseed. Go back and forth a few times to make sure it is fully covered. Take a string and lube it through the middle. Tie the string and let the bird feeder roll sit overnight. Take your roll outside and hang it up. You are guaranteed to make bird friends this summer with this upcycled and easy to make bird feeder. You are going to need multiple paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls for this craft. You will also need a box. I have an old Easter decoration and a cardboard box. I am opting for the Easter decoration. I actually painted one for this craft. Peel off any stickers on your box. Place your rolls inside to see how many are needed. I will need nine for this craft, but you may need more or you may need less. Mark a point on your rolls where they will slightly stick out of your box or container. Cut the rolls and save the extra pieces that are left over. Cut off any jagged edges. Line them back up in your box to make sure they are all even. Glue one row together. I found that it was way easier to glue these rolls in a line before fully placing them. I also really like how these rolls look like an extension of the wooden back of this box. So I am not adding any extra paint or coloring. You can, however, spice up your project with a little spray paint and also color. Glue the rolls to the sides of your box. Glue the next row and last row in place. Put crafting supplies in the back. I am putting paint since this has a painting on the back. It can be displayed like such, or you can place it down flat. This glass tray I got from the dollar store. The flat side is very smooth and glides well on most surfaces. It also has these nibs that work well to push the plate. You are going to need various sized paper towel and toilet paper rolls. Cut six or more rolls to various sizes. Lay out how you would want this to look before you go and cut these more or go and glue them. Cut off any extra jagged pieces. Take a cut piece and put glue on one side. Place it at the edge of tissue paper or craft paper or wrapping paper. Add glue as you go. Fully wrap the roll. Cut off any extra paper and repeat this with all rolls. Make sure you use different colored paper for a few of the other rolls. Cut some trim and put glue on it. This trim is one inch wide and the paper is construction paper. Wrap the top of your roll and cut off any extra. Do this for all pieces. Place and glue your rolls together. It will be a lot easier if you glue your rolls together first before just gluing the bottom. Put glue on the bottom. Flip it and press into place. Remove any extra glue. Fill your containers. To spice up this craft even more, you can put a colored base, you can paint the insides of your rolls, or you can always use spray paint instead of paper. I want to leave it this way to match my paint holder. Turn the base and grab supplies you may need. What I love about this project is that it's budget friendly. We're starting with a toilet paper roll. All right, so we are gonna start with our toilet paper roll and we are gonna cut it down to about half this size. So I'm gonna use some scissors. So now that we've cut our toilet paper roll in half, I'm gonna be using this side here. Um, we're gonna set this aside for now because we're going to move on to the next step. So I'm gonna be taking an X-Acto blade and I essentially want to create like a flat piece because this is going to be sitting on the ground and I don't want it to be unstable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, uh, my exacto blade and I'm going to extend it out and I'm going to kind of start shaving part of this piece away. Okay, so now that this is uh, able to stand on its own, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be attaching my toilet paper roll to the top. I want it to be directly over the base, so we want it to sit about right here. So I'm gonna start by taking my glue, and I'm gonna go around the inside. I want it to kind of fall here. And I'm gonna take my hot glue and kind of go around to the outside. 
And so I'm just going to continue to add glue around the surface, basically kind of completing the gap that I see in between the toilet paper roll and the foam round. All right, so now that this has been glued, I am still waiting for glue to dry a little bit, but we can start at the bottom of this and work our way up. So it should be set by the time we reach the top. Now I'm gonna use an artist palette knife. I have kind of more of a wide spatula-esque one. Uh, but yeah, this is what I'm gonna be using. So if we open it up, you can see it's pink. So I'm gonna take a big heap of this and we're gonna just start layering it on. And ultimately what I'm trying to create is a really solid surface. And I wanna try and make the surfaces relatively even, but you don't need it to be perfect because we're gonna be doing another step after this that's gonna help kind of smooth the surface out. Once I've completed this, when we get a little further into this step, I'll walk you through some other pieces, especially when we come up here. Um, but for now, um, we will just keep moving and I'll see you on the next step. So now we're at a point where we want to work our way towards the, the toilet paper roll. That's definitely a little more set. Um, so it's kind of tricky. You're definitely gonna get your hands covered in spackle. Um, so don't worry, you're not, nothing bad's gonna happen with spackle on your hands. But if you choose to do this with gloves, it makes sense. Now that this is dried a little bit, it's not fully dry as you can see, it's still relatively pink. Uh, we can start tackling the top part of this. So we're gonna do essentially the same thing, but I'm gonna start by going over the exposed base of the toilet paper roll. So you can see I'm kind of covering it there. We want this to look kind of blended. We want it to look pretty seamless. And like I said earlier, it does not need to be perfect. We are gonna be doing another step once this is all dry to really even out the surface and make it look really nice. So I let this uh, dry for about 24 hours. And as you can see, it is completely white now. It's no longer pink. And we did the inside just so it looked pretty complete when you were looking at it from afar or when you're looking at it closely. I just wanted it to look very cohesive and nice. So what I'm gonna do now is I have a sanding block that I've already used. So the sanding block is a little dull. So I'm gonna be using some 220 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna wind it around the block. All right, now that we've sanded this down, we're gonna wipe it off and then we are going to take it outside and move on to our next step, which will be spray painting it. So here is the finished product of this high-end modern donut vase dupe. And I really love how it turned out. I think it looks great in my office. And I hope you feel inspired to try this project. Thank you so much for watching Home Talk and I will see you next time.